everybody. My name is Miss Howell, and I am an art teacher with Houston ISD. And you and I are going to get to spend the next 30 minutes or so together making art and learning about art. Let's get started. First things first, I'm going to do art with some materials that you might not have at your house. And you know what? That's okay. You can do the best you can with whatever you have, or you can just watch and then later, if you get some of the materials, maybe you'll remember what we did together. Either way, I hope you have a good time and you learn something about art. Second thing second, this lesson is made for pre-K through second grade, but really anybody can do it. Anybody who's young at heart or a lifelong learner or who loves art will be able to participate and have a good time. Our lesson today is about the self-portrait or what you might know as a selfie. So there have been artists for a really long time and artists have been making something called a portrait. And a portrait is when you make a picture, it used to be a painting or a drawing, but when you make a picture of a person, that's a portrait. Nowadays, we can make pictures like photographs of people. It used to be on film, now it's digital. I can use my cell phone, I'm using a computer right now to make moving pictures of myself. A self-portrait just means that you are making a picture of yourself. So when I use my phone, I can take a picture of someone else or I can click a little button and it flips the screen around and uses a different camera so that it's taking a picture of myself. Even artists from a long time ago were making self-portraits. So there's a very famous artist. His name was Rembrandt. And he lived in the 1600s and he made a lot of self-portraits. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. And he did that because he wanted to be able to study how the light was coming through a window or how shadows were working over in a corner. So that then when he was painting other people's portraits, he already understood how all of those things worked. Let's look at a few of Rembrandt's self-portraits. Rembrandt lived before cameras were invented, so we don't have any photographs of him, but we have quite a few of his drawings and paintings that he used to study how light was and just to practice drawing. You can see he did lots of different clothes and lots of different styles. He worked on shadows and he worked on light whether he was drawing or whether he was painting. Let's take a look at some more recent artists work. When I look at self portraits, I always want to know, what do I think that the artist was trying to make me feel or think? Do they look happy in their picture or sad or scared? or mad, or proud, or strong? What do they hope that I feel, or what do they hope that I think about them? Even robots on Mars can take self-portraits. This is the Curiosity rover that got sent by spaceship all the way to Mars to go look around and find things and do science experiments and all kinds of very cool stuff. And it, on the regular, takes selfies and sends them back to Earth so scientists can look and see how the robot's doing, as well as where it is and what's going on around it. Pretty cool. Are you ready to make a selfie? But we're not gonna use your grown-up's phone. No, we're not. We are not. We're going to draw pictures of ourselves with a special 2020, 2021 catch. Watch. Look what we're gonna make. We're gonna make self portraits that are wearing masks and then boop, 
we can pop them off. We can take our mask off. Mask on. Mask off. Mask on. Mask off. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm going to start with a piece of paper. It can be any piece of paper. I like blank white paper. But if your paper has lines or whatever, it's okay. You can even do this on a paper towel. However, I like a white piece of paper. I'm going to use a pencil, a regular old pencil. I like sharp pencils with erasers. But if you don't have a pencil and you don't have an eraser, it's okay too. We're flexible. All right. The very first thing we're going to do is fold our paper. Pencil down. We're going to fold. Now. It's a little bit tricky, so you're going to want to watch. I'll do it three times. So if you don't get it the first time, you can watch it three times. Here we go. First time, I'm going to fold my paper in half. I'm going to fold my paper in half. I am folding on the horizontal line of symmetry. I am folding in half. Some people call this hamburger. Third time, here we go. I am folding my paper in half. And then I am going to fold it down flat. I'm even going to use my fingernail to make sure that my crease is nice and flat. I like it better that way. All right. Now we're going to do another fold. I'm going to do it three times. So if you miss it the first time, you can watch it three times. Here we go. I'm going to fold the whole thing in half again. There's one. Folding the whole thing in half again. There's two. Folding the whole thing in half again. There's three. So I'm matching up my corners and I'm folding again. And then I'm going to use my fingernail and I'm going to make a nice clean edge. Okay. Now I'm going to unfold my paper. And you can see that I have some fold lines here, right? So the first time, look, this line was made when I folded it in half the first time. That made this line. And then these two lines were made when I folded it in half again. And there's those lines again. These lines are just going to help me with a couple of things while I do my self-portrait. I don't know about you, but it's a little bit hard for me to remember what I look like when I'm not looking at myself in the mirror. So this might be one of those kinds of projects where you either need to bring a mirror with you wherever you are, or you might want to work on that project and like run to the bathroom, look in the mirror, and then run back and draw something. Okay. Or you can use your best judgment, or maybe you have a photograph that someone took of you in a picture frame and you could put that next to you or maybe your grown-up is sitting next to you and they can pick a picture on their phone and then you can look at it on their phone or you can just do your best from remembering what you look like for the first part of our project we're only going to use the top half of our paper so we folded into fourths there's one two three four equal sections we only need the top half. So I'm going to fold my paper in half and I'm going to draw on the top half. Okay, the first thing we're going to make is our head. Our head. And most people's heads are what we call an oval. An oval. An oval is like a circle that got stretched out like bubble gum. An oval. I can use my finger to practice drawing an oval before I draw my oval. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot down here at the bottom. That's where my chinny chin chin goes. And I'm going to put a dot up here where the top of my head is. And let me zoom in better so you can see it. And then we're going to draw an oval. So here's my chinny chin chin and here's the top of my head. And I'm going to draw an oval. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect. We're just doing the best we can. That is an oval, kind of like an egg. Go ahead and draw your oval. Next, we're going to draw these things, these flappy things on the side of my head that help me here. 
that's what we're going to draw next. But look, see my head? My head's like an oval, right? My eyes are about halfway down my head and my ears are right there halfway down my head. So I'm going to try my best to draw my ears and my eyes in the middle of my oval. Let's see if we can do that. Remember when we folded our paper? That line right there in the middle of my oval is going to help me with my ears. My ears go like this. And I have two ears that look sort of the same. Go ahead and draw your ears. And then I have the insides of my ears, right? I have like little curly cues. I can draw those. I also have earrings. So I can draw myself some earrings if I want to. I could make them fun, loopy earrings. I can make them however I want. Okay, now my eyes. My eyes are going to go right there. See that line? My eyes are going to stay right there on that line. And I'm going to draw a dot for the middle of one eye and a dot for the middle of the other eye. Now, thank goodness my eyes aren't that tiny. I need to draw them bigger, right? So I'm going to start by drawing a circle right there and a circle right there. That's the inside part of my eye called my pupil. Now I'm going to draw a bigger circle around the outside of that eye. That circle is called my iris, and that's the circle that is different colors in different people. Some people have brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, hazel eyes. I've even seen people who look like they have gray eyes. So now I need some eyelids because I can blink and close my eyes when I sleep. So I need some eyelids. So I'm going to start on this side and draw something that kind of looks like a football around the outside of those circles. There's one eye, eyelid eyeballs. There's two eyelids eyeballs. And that can come together and then there's like that little tear ducty part right there. Now I have an eyelid, so I'm going to draw an eyelid up over the top this way and an eyelid up over the top this way. And then I have these things around my eyelids. Hold on, let me show you. So here's my eyes, but let me take my glasses off so you can see better. Here's my eyes. And do you see there's my eyelids? And then what are these funny things on the ends of my eyelids? What are those called? Does anybody know? Those are eyelashes. These are eyebrows. And these are eyelashes. So I'm going to go ahead and draw those in next. Eyelashes start right here on these eyelids. And they go out like this. Or you can go in like this. And then you have some eyelashes underneath on those eyelids too. Eyelids. And then remember over the tops of my eyes, I had those things called eyebrows. And my eyebrows, they're kind of the same, same shape as my eye. Like that. And some people have super furry eyelash eyebrows. Some people have super thick eyelashes. Not me, but some people do. Some people's are really long. Some people wear makeup that makes their eyelashes look really thick. Not me, not usually. So I'm not going to draw it that way. So there's my eyes. There's my ears. There's my eyebrows. I wonder what else I should put on my face. I wonder else should I put on my face? A nose. A nose. Let's put a nose. And then we need a mouth. A nose and a mouth. This is where it helps a little bit to look in the mirror because people have different kinds of noses. Some people have noses that are 
skinny and long. Some people have noses that are shorter and wide. Some people have noses that kind of go whoop and have like a little ski jump at the end. Some people have noses that are just big. Some people have all kinds of different noses. Also, people like to draw noses differently. Here's how I like to draw noses. I like my nose really starts all the way up here by my eyebrows. And I like a little bit of a line right here. And then I like to show the side of my nose right here. And I like to show the other side of my nose right here. And I like to draw that little curvy part of my nose right there. That's how I like to draw noses. But you can draw it any way you want to. Some people just make like a eh, eh, and that's good too. Okie dokie. All right, now I have glasses. So I have to draw my glasses. My glasses sit on my nose. There's a little piece in the middle right here, and then it goes over my eyes and kind of comes to a point over here and comes down here like this, and then it goes like this on the other side, kind of the same thing, and then I can make it curve up a little bit more like that. And then my glasses, thank goodness, they have clear parts in the middle called lenses, right? So these are my lenses. So I can see through them. Otherwise, oh my gosh, there would not be a good reason for me to have glasses. Okay, so there's my glasses. And then they stay on my head because they have these things that go back behind my ears. Kind of like that. Okay, if you have glasses, you can do glasses too. So does your face start to look like my face? Do you have, let's see, let's see if you can do it. Do you, did you draw a head? Did you draw an oval for a head? Give me a thumbs up if you drew an oval for a head. Do you have ears on your self-portrait? Do you have ears? How many ears do you have? Show me on your fingers how many ears do you have. Do you have one ear or two ears or zero ears? I have two. All right. How many eyes do you have? Do you have one eye or two eyes or no eyes? I don't know. I have two. I have two eyes. I also have two eyebrows. Did you draw eyebrows? I also have one nose. I have one nose right in the middle of my face. All right. Now I need a mouth because I'm talking to you, right? And I'm using my mouth to talk to you. So here's how I like to draw a mouth. You can do the thing like an emoji where you just draw a big smiley face right? I could do that. I can draw a big smiley face just like that. And that kind of looks like me, but not exactly. Because I have these things on the outside of my mouth called lips. So I like to draw a lip. And then when I'm super happy, my mouth is open just a little bit, especially when I'm talking. And guess what? I'm almost always talking. Are you always talking? I'm almost always talking. And so my mouth is open a little bit, and then I have a lip that goes down on the bottom. So there's my mouth. This is making me look happy. Remember how we talked about how some artists like to make themselves look sad, or scared, or worried, or proud, or excited. So this is kind of my excited, happy self-portrait. You get to decide what you want your mouth to look like. Now, I don't have dimples, but some of you might have dimples. You might have those little dents over here in your cheeks that make you extra happy when you're smiling because you have little dimples. Some of you might have freckles or little dots. Some of you might have two earrings. Some of you might have, I don't know, something else. You might have a birthmark. My daughter has a birthmark that's right there. You might have all kinds of other things, right? You might have a scar that makes you extra beautiful. You might have other things that make your face beautiful. Make sure you add those onto your self-portrait too. My self-portrait is looking a little bit bald. And I used to have my hair shaved just like this. See how short this hair is? That's how my hair was all over the top of my head. So I wouldn't really even need to draw hair on my self-portrait back then. But now I do have some hair, at least on this side of my head. So I'm going to draw my hair the way I think it looks. 
this is a great opportunity to run to the bathroom. So I'm going to set the timer so you can work on drawing your hair just like you see it in the mirror. If you didn't quite get finished with your hair or your eyes or something like that, it's okay. You'll have lots of time after. You can always go back and finish. You can keep working on your self-portrait for a long time. We haven't added color. We haven't added texture or anything else. So there's always going to be more that you can add. But I want to make sure that you get the twisty part of our self-portrait. So the reason it's going to be a 2020, 2021 self-portrait is this. So what is this thing that I'm always wearing? What is this thing I'm always wearing? What's this called? A mask. Yes, it is. That is a mask. This is a mask. And we wear our masks right now to make sure that we're keeping people safe. And isn't it a good idea to keep everybody safe? It is a good idea to keep everybody safe. While we're talking about keeping everybody safe, I want to teach you the safety song. Okay, the first part of our song starts with our hands because it goes like this. Wash your hands, do, 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 do. Wash your hands, do, 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 do. Wash your hands, do, 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 do. Wash your hands. Wash them again, do, 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 do. Wash them again, do, 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 do. Wash them again, do, 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 do. Wash them again. Wash them again, do 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 do. Wash them again, do 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 do. Wash them again, do 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 do. Wash them again. Okay, then we come back up here and we go. Cover your cough, do 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 do. Cover your cough, do 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 do. Cover your cough, do 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 do. Cover your cough. Wear your mask, do 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 do. Wear your mask, do 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 do. Wear your mask, do 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 do. Wear your mask. Cover your nose, do 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 do. Cover your nose, do 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 do. Cover your nose, do 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 do. Cover your nose. Cover your chin, do 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 do. Cover your chin, do 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 do. Cover your chin, do 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 do. Cover your chin. I wonder if you can think of some other things that we do to stay safe and you can just add them to the safety song. I bet you can. So Miss Howell, why are you wearing your mask now? I'm wearing my mask because we're going to make our self portraits have masks on part of our self portrait. It's all a whole trick. I'll show you in just a minute. But first I want you to look at my face. So when I have my mask on correctly, my nose is covered. 
all the way kind of underneath my eyes, all the way back to my ears, and then all the way down under my chin. So just look for just a second. You can see my eyes, my glasses, of course. You can see my eyes, my ears are still sticking out. You can see my eyebrows, you can see my hair, of course. Let's work on our self-portraits. So here's my self-portrait that I did with half of my paper. I'm gonna unfold it again, and now this bottom half is blank. Okay, watch me do this. I'll do it three times. So I'm gonna take the bottom of my paper and I'm gonna kind of bend it, but I don't want it to bend here. I want it to bend right here. So I'm gonna push that and I'm gonna bend it up. Okay, I do it again. So the bottom of my paper, it's gonna bend in half. It's gonna kind of bend up like a tent and cover up my eyes, right? Cover up my mouth. That's where my mask is gonna go. Okay, so I'm folding. So I opened up my paper flat, right? Here's how it was. I opened up my paper flat and then I'm just bending on those folds that we already folded. Now, here's this little tricky part. Remember how I said that my eyes show and my glasses show, right? So I need to show my glasses again. And I need to show my eyes again. Okay, so I'm just redrawing a few of the things that got covered up by my, oh, that got covered up. Okay, I'm just drawing them again the same way I had them before. Okay, and then there we go. And then I need to draw the rest of my head that comes back down on that oval. Remember our oval? And then I need to draw my ears again. And I can draw the same old earrings that I had on before. And my little doodads. Okay, and now I'm gonna draw my mask. So my mask, remember it came up over my glasses right here. Can't see my nose anymore. Can't see my nose anymore, can't see my mouth anymore. Can't see it at all. So now look at the nifty thing that we've made. We've made self-portrait with mask. <sighs> Self-portrait without mask, self-portrait with mask, self-portrait without mask, self-portrait with mask, self-portrait without mask. Isn't that fun? I think that is so much fun. So now what I'm going to do for the rest of art time, and maybe even tonight after I get done with my homework, is I'm going to go back in and I'm going to color it. I'm going to add some patterns. So maybe I'm going to decorate my mask however I want to. Have you seen all the cool masks that there are out there? There are a lot of cool masks. Some people have I Love the Astros on their masks. Some people have I Love Cats on their masks. Some people have designs and patterns. Some people have funny things written. Some people have serious things written. There's all kinds of different masks, all kinds of different masks. So I get to decorate. I don't even have to have the mask. I could just make up a mask pattern that I want, right? And then I'm going to decorate and then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to decorate on the inside too. Okie dokie. And then the last step, the very last step is I need to write my name right here. So you can see I have this whole section right here that's blank. It kind of hides when I fold it up, but I can write my name and I can write my name big. So I'm going to write my name Big Ms. Howell. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so much fun to show everybody I find. I'm going to make a mask. A mask self-portrait. A regular self-portrait. I cannot wait to see what you guys make. I can't wait to see pictures of them. Maybe some of your grown-ups will send us some pictures on Twitter to the HISD Fine Arts Department so we can see the masked self-portraits that you guys have been working on. I 
can't wait. I will see you guys again for our next art lesson. Bye, everybody.